there and welcome to the Muse Talk. My name is Gadade Aku Segbafia. Today's episode is brought to you by the Muse Hub and sponsored by Lineal Thrift. I mean, they are responsible for all your palazzos, your, your two-piece suit, your skirt suit, anything official, they are your people. And she hooked me up with this beautiful shirt dress. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and do not forget to subscribe. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, I'll introduce my guest to you. Hi, guys. I go by the name ABC Mason, and you are watching the Muse Talk. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone. My name is Nura Mohammed, known as Nura the Linguist. Keep watching the Muse Talk. You are watching the Muse Talk. My name is Sebla. Hi, my name is Ansong, and you are watching the Muse Talk. Welcome back. It's still the Muse Talk in case you just joined us. Today, my guest is a very interesting personality. He is a journalist, a PR practitioner, a photographer, a content creator, and a feminist. Mm -hmm. You heard me right. He is a feminist. He goes by the name Kwesi Pokubuso. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank How you. are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good too. For, you, before we start with everything, what, what do you mean by your feminist? So, um, I happen to be um, the first of two siblings. And I've always longed Sisters? To, no, okay. guys. Okay. I've always longed to have a sister. And it's been my dream to have a female daughter. I mean, a daughter. Okay. When I marry when you marry start giving okay. birth so i really wanted to um put it out there and make it look like yo i can't be masculine all the time so hence i have to fight for the rights of a women woman so i've been trying here and there to be on their conferences and then Oh. I mean, I try to. You take to it to the professional level. Uh, professional, but not very active. Okay. Because of the job that I do. Mm -hmm. So. But is there a special reason why, um, one, you want to have a daughter, and two, you've always longed to have sisters? Perhaps I'm sure it's because I never had a sister, sister in mm -hmm. close with. I mean, it's. We are troubles on. Yeah, you still fine. like us. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. I mean, I, you know the pattern and you know how ladies conform to certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get everything right. You know, a popular saying by one of my friends says that oh, the ladies, they are all in the same um, phone case, but then the <laughs> IOS is different. Oh, the really? System is different. <laughs> really? So <laughs> I try to let them know, yeah, everybody is different in it. Mm -hmm. her own way. way we just have to nurture them and understand them i know i know that you can take the entire exactly. understanding yeah, understanding is the key okay, but what kind of feminist are you people say extreme feminism and all of that so okay. what, what 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 exactly do you stand by if you say you're a feminist you know um there's this thing that we always say uh, A lot of guys or a lot of gentlemen or in the world in the whole is more or less like they're giving opportunities to to the female side I mean but then the guys are like give me an equal chance I will do it so I'm not looking for I'm not looking for the equality mm -hmm. bit okay I'm not so extreme okay I'm looking at the equity equity yeah I'm religious, but not too religious. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm religious. Let me but what's the way. difference? I mean, no, you're no, either mean, yes or no, hot so, or cold. Okay, I believe in God. Okay. I'm not an atheist. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. So that is that is there. Uh -huh. But then, you know, in the Bible, the segregation. Mm -hmm. Ladies are not supposed to do this. Ladies okay. are not supposed to do that. I'm not for that, for that okay. particular okay. part. I'm like, okay, the equal opportunity you give to a man. Give the same measure of opportunity to so a lady, the lady and let her perform wonders. That's mm. it. I don't believe I'm going to give an extreme hand or um, extreme support to a lady to overcome. No. The same way I'll give opportunity for a man to shine, I have to give the same way 
um, the same opportunity to a lady to shine. Mm -hmm. And that one means that you know, often it's not like that because a lot of guys are like, uh, oh, the lady will marry and leave their home. So let's take care of the guys. And then when the guy and uh, the lady is ready to marry, the husband will come and take care. No. Why not take care of the lady as same as the, the, the guys? Mm -hmm. Giving that opportunity, you know, because I know a lot of ladies who have made it because they were given equal opportunities, mm. not because they were given any extra attention, okay. but then they were given equal opportunities yeah. to rub shoulders with the guys. You know? But you are a guy, yeah, mm. and I'm sure you have male friends, sure. and I'm sure they will debate and battle with you when it comes to issues with mm. regards mm. to women or feminism and all of that. How have you been able to handle it or convince them or educate them that so so and so and so is what it is? Oftentimes, um, it's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's weird. Yeah. Because they will be like, why are you not speaking for us? Mm -hmm. and they're speaking for them. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I let them understand. Perhaps everybody came out of a woman. I mean, so far as you're on earth, you came out of a woman. And that is, that is the amount of love you need to share with the opposite sex. Sure. Not necessarily being on top of your game or no. Mm. See, the, the way you would want to treat a woman should come from within. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be the type. I, I, I totally agree. A lot of people didn't have um, that kind of uh, reception when they were growing up. Sure. So it's quite difficult for them to uh, reciprocate. Sure. But then, if I know, I've always loved my mom. No disrespect to my dad, <laughs> but I've always loved my mom. Yeah, because she knows as and when what to tell you when you go and get stuff. Mm. And that's motherly love. Yeah. You don't get it from anywhere. Yeah. And it's unique. Mm -hmm. So far as you can, you can um, tap into that glory, that is it. Mm -hmm. And it calms you down no matter who you are. I believe a lot of guys um, succumb to their mother's um, advice than to yeah, that dads. of their dads. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> every lady, every guy is a, a, a mother's pet mm -hmm. until he decides to, okay, I'm grown, I'm fully grown, okay. so I won't do it again. But, <laughs> but what of those who take this extreme, mm -hmm. as for the women, and, and, and it comes off like disrespect to men? For instance, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I am for, I'm all for the women empowerment mm -hmm. thing. But I believe that certain things, like if you're in a home and probably you're married, I don't think it's bad that you probably cook for your husband or clean the house. Yes, he should help you. But I feel like in the home, the first call when it comes to cooking and taking care of the home is the woman. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. But some extreme feminists are totally against that. <laughs> I, I don't know what are your thoughts about it anyway I always say that uh, it depends from uh, it depends on where you're coming from okay so a typical example is mine let me use mine as an example mm -hmm. I came from a home with two guys the only person lady like or woman like is my mom my, my mom is a dream teacher okay my dad um, was a driver of the Ghana Revenue Authority so he leaves home at 3.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. My mom should report to school at 7. I should be in school by 7.30. We never had the same opportunity to go to the same school. But then I can't let my mom do all the cooking. Mm -mm. She has to leave. And as at that time, she worked at Pokwa, so we were at Stifa. And not now that you can say we get um, transportation easily to the place. So, you know, if she's supposed to report to, to campus at 7, she'll leave home by 5.30 so that she can make it. Mm. Now, I'm left with my junior brother. Am I going to say I want to cook? Mm. Am I going to say I want to wash when I need to do it before I go to school? Mm -hmm. So that's where the feminism started. Okay. I took up women business. Mm -hmm. And it was that I didn't have any other option. And my mom went to go in for a house help. 
Mm -hmm. So you are going to do it yourself. Yourself, okay. And okay. we close at three. Mm -hmm. She will get home by five. By the time she gets home, dinner is ready. Yeah. So you can see, I, I, yes, we are doing it. My mom will do it for me sometime. I will do it for her. And to date, it's it's such that my kid brother doesn't know how to really cook <laughs> because I'll always okay, step in for, okay. for, for her. He's a and husband material. Oh, oh forget it. <laughs> 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 and I mean, he, 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 he does little chores, I mm. know. But then, you know, I do everything. I cook, I wash, I dry, I iron. I do everything. Okay. So, uh, whoever is getting me, <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> anyway, because I have, I was surprised to read in your profile that you went to GIJ mm. and you studied communication studies, right? Yeah. And you're a journalist, you mm. PR um, practitioner, and all of that. Mm. Because I've always known you as a photographer. So how did you divert from that? Is if you have from journalism to photography? Anyway, uh, this is a little bit dicey. Okay. Uh, but then, I would say my love for journalism has been there. I I I looked up to my godfather, one of my godfathers, Kwame Asidumafu of Blessed Memory. He died mm. last year, last year. And growing up, I used to see him when he comes home. He has a column in the Daily Graphic. And he writes very well. Mm. Now, I just wanted to emulate him because I I saw his writing skill. He was able to communicate well. So, GIJ. Now, when I entered GIJ, I think the second year, we we're having this course, um, visual communication and photojournalism. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started, we did visual communication. I think the second semester. So, photojournalism in the first semester. And it was interesting, like how creatively we put things together mm -hmm. to make it tell a story. So I found love for that. Okay. Now, visual communication came in the second semester and was like, okay, outside making the pictures tell a story, you have the opportunity to caption it. So the picture is telling a story, all right, but then the caption is explaining into details what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of the pictures are misleading. You might not know what is actually happening. So after after going through all that, my love for photography was like there. I always wanted to have a camera of my own. Mm -hmm. And one or three things. I mean, about to complete school, my daddy was not feeling so well. So, you know, home matters and then personal issues put one and two together. Now I can't stay in the house. Yeah. So and since I'm the elderly one, I have to pick up responsibility sure. very early. So uh spoke to a couple of family friends who were willing to support. Now they got me my first camera that was a T three I canon T three I and I happened to join a group of people who were doing the photography business. I mean, as in business, business, mm -hmm. so weddings, events, um, birthdays and things. So I joined them. They nurtured me. So um, Paul from Reflex Images and then Fano from, uh, he keeps on changing his name. <laughs> <but> then, <laughs> funny. Yes, funny. Funny, funny, funny as a photographer. Yeah, he's a photographer. He does oh, videos. Uh, he's a theater person. Mm -hmm. So that's where my theater okay. love comes okay. in. Okay. And we, 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 so right after service, yeah, right after national service, that was 2014, then I can't stay in the house. Of course. My dad is no more going. It's only my mom, so pick up photography. And to say photography has been, well, in fact, has been well. No, don't, Very I was waiting well. to hear what you're going to say. Very well. <laughs> Very well. Of course. Yeah. Very because well. now they are charging the I mean if there's a wedding photographers charge I, I mm. can say 30 so, percent of the total amount okay. you're going to spend on your wedding this issue if I have 
if I have important, let me let me talk about it. Um, okay. So, in everything that you do, mm -hmm. I mean, memories, memories, are memories, very important. They're very important. Now, you happen to employ the services of a decor, mm -hmm. of um, uh, a DJ, um, light and sound, and all, everything. Now, after every show, what do you keep? The pictures. Exactly. So, here is it. Do you value your pictures or you just want somebody to come and take pictures? Mm -hmm. Now, that notwithstanding, it takes us years of experience to get to where we are getting to. Someone will say, Oh, I have a phone, <laughs> especially iPhone. <laughs> the oh, iPhone is yeah. it. Oh, hard oh, I have an iPhone, you can use it to take pictures. But then you don't, f don't forget that it's not about just picture taking, mm -hmm. it's about the math that will go into it. Honestly, I didn't appreciate mathematics until I started using a camera. Oh, it has yes. something to do with mathematics? A lot to okay. do with mathematics. And there are three things that you need to know when you have a camera. Your ISO, your aperture, and then your shutter speed. Now, okay. all these three things are numbers. Mm. The more you're adding one, you should be decreasing one to compensate. Hmm. So. With all these experiences, when a uh, photo <laughs> is behind the camera, yeah. it's taking into consideration all these three factors mm -hmm. to give you a nice image or to tell that story. Okay. So I'm trying to give you that memory mm -hmm. that will last forever. Forever. And you don't want it to charge you. Hmm. But can I say that you are self thought? Because I, I don't think you went to any kind of school or went through any kind of training to become a photographer, mm -hmm. right? Did you? Because according to what you said, the love for it developed from journalism, when you started taking pictures to tell a story, right? Sure. So how did you then learn about all the aperture and everything and put the maths together <laughs> and come out with a beautiful picture? Okay, so before I got to GIJ, I remember very well that I took pictures of my family. I'm with your phone? Oh, you had a camera phone. there? I had the point and shoot camera. That you don't do anything, you have just the film in there. Oh. You just point and you shoot, you go your way. Yeah. Yeah, that was, I started using that one at age five. Oh, yes. that early? Very early. Okay. At age five. But I didn't understand whatever You was were just going. taking, I clicking? Just, yes. Okay. Because when it's done, you wind the film. They take it to the uh, the photo lab mm. to get it done for you. Now, fast forward. I think when I was in GSS two, we had some family friends coming in from US, okay. and they brought a camera. It was a Pentax camera with a fifty millimeter lens. Now, I don't know anything about it. All I knew was to click. Mm -hmm. I was just clicking. Tell you what, until I entered GIJ, and I uh, started knowing what aperture, shutter speed, and ISO is. I didn't know it into detail. So I went back, picked the pen tag, and I saw these numbers on the camera. And I was like, oh, okay, this is what they were talking about. I used it and it worked. Until I felt for um, using a digital camera. That's where the love of photography actually, hmm. like, I mean, was at its peak. So Yo, you can do this. And then, I thought myself some way, but then with the help of um, rapport, rapport coupon of uh, reflex images, and then funnel, they will tell you, you know, do it this way, do it that okay. way, do it this way, do okay. that way. And then from the little that I know, it took me three months to do Photoshop edits. And you can imagine like three months every night going to YouTube. Shout to outs, learn. Shout outs to YouTube. YouTube. I mean, YouTube, I mean, YouTube, YouTube is the YouTube, best university YouTube. ever. <laughs> oh, you won't get it from anywhere. I mean, YouTube will give you every detail that you really want. Mm. And from there, you know, like the development started and then the interest also kept going and going on. Oh, That's okay. It. So we'll hold on here. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to go more into details with photography. And 
And it is really sad. Like this particular thing, they on a to people wedding day, the mm-hmm. wedding they prepared everything for the wedding. On the wedding day, the man was marrying another person. Then he sees a post on Facebook. Hmm? Now he sees the post of his girlfriend's wedding oh, over Jesus. the weekend. <laughs> girlfriend's wedding. Hey, Except that too. You can't force a reason out of me. I can't do this anymore. See? People See? want to accept it. My she can't do it anymore. Hey. Ah. She can't do it anymore. I don't even think of why. Why are you people on your call like that? It's okay. Stop. We are not on here. We are. It's, it's I'm okay. behind let's, here. Let's talk. So why were you in a relationship for that long? <laughs> And you broke it up. Don't like how how dare you plan Very wedding seriously. and then when the, the wife is ready to walk down the aisle, she finds out you are marrying someone else at a different place. What is wrong with you? Welcome back. It's still the Muse Talk here with Chrissy Pokubu. So he's a photographer, a journalist, a PR practitioner, a content creator and a feminist we've been having a very interesting conversation about his background in photography and feminism okay so you know photography has evolved over the years mm. i remember when we have men walking around the neighborhood with cameras photo photo and then they can just <laughs> click and you have pictures now photography is something else altogether i can just take a phone and take a picture and realize that it's so ugly a photographer will take that same phone and take the picture and I see that there's a very big difference. Is there a difference between photography then and photography now? Is there a difference? Um, uh, it's a thin line um, difference. I will say this because they're photos. Normally they always shoot on aperture priority. A lot of them you might not know, but then those who know photography mm, will know what I'm, I'm so talking lost. about. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you, you're taking a picture on aperture priority, or even on auto, auto setting, you tend to let the camera think for you. Okay. So the camera is thinking for you. You are not doing anything behind. But then when you move into the manual setting, now you have to know where the source of light is coming from, where um, there's a soft light, there's mm. a harsh light. Um, how to pose the, the subject and then the things to do to make the person feel comfortable. Mm. A lot of times a lot of people are camera shy. Immediately you raise the camera you start fidgeting mm-hmm. or doing something else. So um, in my training I was told how to break the ice with my client. So I don't have to let you be all serious and then ready for the picture. No, I have to make you calm down so that it will be so easy for us to have uh, this um, communication. How do you do that? Oh, uh, so a lot of times it's it's been a joke or maybe a comment that I'll say. Okay. Um, for example, I normally go like, oh, are you ready for this intercourse? What mm. comes into mind? Sex, obviously. Uh, exactly, but uh, I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about how the to intercourse get with the camera exactly. and the photographer. Exactly. That's a threesome. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just realized that. But no. So if if you're into that, okay. if if you have that mindset, mm. you start thinking about, oh, this is what he means. And already you'll be laughing and smiling. So coming to you again will be easier. Sometimes the models come or the clients come to you and for no reason they are angry mm-hmm. not you they're not angry at you but, but then they, just they are angry and you still have to calm them down oh it's okay don't worry whatever you're thinking about makeup artists mm-hmm. oh they they will mess up your face someone a, a client came to me and she was like oh the makeup is making me look older mm. so what do we do and i said okay now you have to pose like you're an older person uh, an elderly person now when she's doing that, then you move in one or two to just come and oh, we can do it. We are getting there. So there are reasons for um, a lot of photographers shooting more than one picture at the same time. Yeah, we can get a picture like at a go, bam. But then you keep on telling, oh yeah, you are not there yet. Oh, the level is okay. okay, let's go. By the time you are done, the client is into you. Like she, she or he is calm, and, and you start getting to know. Ah, then you get what you exactly. want. Exactly. 
and they say photograph where I shall offer. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. um, that is what the <laughs> in fact, yes, that's the perception. Yeah, uh, I quite remember. Yeah, uh, photographers and then uh, instrumentalists, mm. but there's a but, yeah. But you know, I think photography comes with discipline, of course. Wha now, what are the ethics of the job? The ethics, uh, a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. there are a lot, but then uh, there are principles. I mean, what you personally you want to put up. Now, I don't mingle work and pleasure. Okay. If I'm working, it is work. If we are having fun, we are having fun. I can't put the two together. But you've never had a client come to your studio and you're like, oh, I like this one. Oh, you always have it. So how do you then concentrate it's on business? That is what I'm saying. If it is work that we're doing, we're doing work. Okay. We're working. Mm. After the shoot, if I want to do anything after the shoot, that's after the shoot. Okay. But during oh, the working during hours, the working hours, shooting. we're shooting. Okay. We're shooting. We don't. In fact, in fact um, when somebody tells you that when you have a photo session, it is only you and the photographer, it's never true. There are a lot of people around, so some things might not appear. The way where, where are the people? I just see the. I mean, I have okay, so okay, I have so you have people around. Yes, I but have maybe a, a different studio. We have just you. No I matter what, there. there's <laughs> an assistant in the studio. Okay. No matter what, because one photographer can't handle all Everything. the lights mm. exactly, and it's lighting and and, and, and sets and a uh, whole lot of things mm -hmm. happening at the same time. Okay. So. At the time of working, there's no time to. For yes, you you can be flirty with your client, but then it's because you want to achieve a particular goal. Mm -hmm, but of course, afterwards you might not even want to get there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because you have seen a lot of people come and go, so mm -hmm. I mean, then or better, all shapes, all shapes and sizes, mm -hmm. but. Is there, um, of course, there should be some challenges you've experienced in your line of duty? A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Um, so, the m number one challenge, I mean, I think it's on every photographer's list, is uh, your clients. Your client responds to pictures. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't understand what a beautiful picture is. Mm. In a client's perspective, it will be the amount of light going into that picture. So if it's a little bit darker, oh, picture in your face. Okay. Yeah. But why is it dark? So there are things that go into it. I want to give you a dramatic look. Okay. Yeah. I don't have to give you pictures looking the same throughout. But has it, have you discussed that with the clients? Is that, does the client want that? Often clients don't know what they want. Yeah, sure. So they leave everything up to you. The photographer. To decide for them. Now, I normally discuss with you, what do you want? I ask a popular question, how do you want it? Hmm. Now, how do you want it brings a lot of things. So after shooting, and I see, OK, I can add A and B to it to get a particular look. OK. Now, clients are like, oh, I just want to see myself shining. Mm. Yes. So if you're giving um, a photographic intellect or understanding to a particular picture, mm. your client might not really understand you. Mm -hmm. And when the understanding is not there, that's it. The second thing, the second challenge would be time. Time? Yeah, time. Now, my book is to do session for an hour, but I end up spending four hours. Why? Because you've not gotten what you want. Secondly, it's your birthday today, mm -hmm. or say tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should discuss with me, the photographer, at least a week ahead, so that I can book you for a studio session. Now, editing. I I personally take close to thirty minutes for a picture. So imagine if I'm giving you twenty pictures for your birthday. I mean, like a pre-birthday photo shoot. Like a pre-birthday photo shoot. People can do us more oh, yeah. twenty pictures. Hey, you have no idea. Wow. They will bring their whole wardrobe into the studio. Hmm. So 
they'll do minimum of four changes. And they want to have pictures mm -hmm. to every attire that they change or costume that they change. And you can't give one. Because if you give one, they'll be asking questions. Mm, Why what happened to the other ones? Exactly. Wow. So time time is one of the factors. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people or photographers out, uh, outside the country, I mean, um, in the US, in the UK, mm -hmm. after taking the pictures, they have editors. Mm, okay. So they normally don't do the editing, the editing themselves. So they are a little bit time bound. Mm. But for us here, I can't pay for an editor. Mm -mm. So I shoot and I edit Edits at the same everything. time. Mm. But I do Lights, marketing, everything, everything at the same time. Mm. So you can only imagine. And one thing that clients always forget is before you came, there was somebody's work. Okay. So even if you want yours in the next 24 hours, I have to finish someone's work. Before. Before. And mm. if you want yours express, you have to pay more. And paying more is the issue. You know, we don't want to pay, but we want good stuff. Uh, that one is the problem. But what makes you different from other photographers? What do you bring to your job that makes you unique from the rest? So the first thing that I personally tell my clients is, aside taking nice pictures, it's the experience. Mm -hmm. The experience talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, that kind of reception I will give you before we start shooting okay so it doesn't only rest or end at after the shoot mm -hmm. we continue this relationship and it's more or less i've got clients reverting after their weddings after their birthday shoots after whatever event it was they come back again oh the other time you did this for me and I'm, i really like yeah that relationship that you build yeah you don't you don't have to put everything in one, but then okay. build that relationship so that next time they can recommend you to somebody. To others. Exactly, mm -hmm. and business keeps coming. That relationship that you keep with your mm -hmm. clients is, is everything to me. Mm. Yeah. So um, how would you describe your brand? And how do you see the future when it comes to your job as a photographer? Okay, so um, for the past I think seven years on, I have developed an interest in theater. Okay. So I do a lot of theater now. But then starting, I, I was into fashion, um, beauty, lifestyle, and then events. Okay. But now I think I am drawing closer to theater more. And <coughs> it's some way, a lot of people think that the theater space is not really giving it, but then you're living the life of the actors mm -hmm. on stage in your s pictures yeah so in a, in as much as you taking just pictures of um, interesting moments you're also telling the story in that way and because of my journalism background i always want to tell stories with my pictures and then from you can actually see okay so from theater um, from the pictures that I'll take from theater, mm -hmm. will tell you, okay, this from this scene, we went to this scene, and, and this is what I do. If I don't see your production, it will be very difficult for me, I mean, rehearsal, okay. it will be very difficult for me to shoot your production. Oh. Not that I can do the moment, no. But you have to understand the story. I have to understand, I have to put myself in the story, so that it will be like, I'm not just taking the pictures for, for the fun of it, but then I'm relating to mm. to the story. So that takes me back to your journalism background mm. where you had to arrange pictures to tell the story. Exactly. That's interesting. So what's the future like for KOD uh, photography? That's uh, it, right? KOP. KOP yeah. photography. photography. Um, well, I'm looking up for very big opportunities. I mean, I'm open to do a lot of um, collaborations with people. And aside collaboration, I mean the money is important. Of uh, course, we need so to. So a lot of money. jobs, a yeah. lot of jobs that that are paid jobs actually, mm -hmm. not jobs. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of paid jobs and high end paid jobs. Yeah. I mean, um, um, technology is evolving and and uh, a lot of things are happening in the space. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, um, you don't really need to do much if you have 
specific gadgets. Yeah. yeah, you need specific gadgets to get yeah. uh, at a particular peak that you want. So I'm getting there. You know, I, I need to go on a quick break, but before we go, yeah. there's a threat for photography, I can, I can call it that. Mm -hmm. AI. Oh. AI is doing amazing thing these days. I can just take a picture of my phone mm -hmm. and then let it go through AI or whatever, and then it will bring a very beautiful picture. Yeah. Is that not a threat to the profession? I would say it is not. Okay. It is to our advantage. Explain. Okay. So what I would be taking um, two days or say a day to to do on Photoshop, I mean the app Photoshop, mm. I can do it with a click. On AI? On AI. Oh. And it is to our advantage. The only problem is that you pay for it. But Photoshop, you don't pay for it. You pay for Photoshop. But then Photoshop is um, even inculcating an AI feature. Mm -hmm. But they have inculcated an AI feature, which makes it easier. So now I can take a picture of you standing at a very awkward space and tell Photoshop to give you a nice background. Okay. And it will do it. Okay. Is it a plus or a disadvantage? It's a plus, it's I a think. Plus. It mm -hmm. makes work easier. Mm -hmm. So I'm not seeing AI as a competitor. But then it is aimed to help photographers achieve the goal. Okay. Now, um, if you're a photographer and you think that AI is taking, taking your job, the problem here is you need to take the picture to give to AI to do it, what it will do for you. Mm. So when the need for a photographer is present. Mm -hmm. Your job is still relevant. Yeah. Do you get yeah. it? It's still relevant. Okay. You don't you don't need to cause you can't tell a camera to take a picture of you mm -hmm. and the camera will take. Yeah. No. No matter what. You have to either click a button or issue a command. Okay, now that and makes that. me good. Because I was like, okay, are they gonna take their jobs from them? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but photography will still stay. Yeah. We'll still need photographers. Yeah. You would need somebody who has um a particular experience or knowledge on a particular field mm. when it comes to photography. So you do just photography. Do you do videography as well? Yes, I do videography as well. I do photography. Sometimes I only shoot video. I mean, I do the shooting and I have an editor to do the... Okay, the videography. The videography. But then for the photos, I do them myself. Okay, great. So there's um, an interesting segment introduced <laughs> in the news talk. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, I'll tell you all about it. Welcome back. Um, I don't know how to call this segment yet, but you pick a question Come and then you five questions. And then <laughs> you read the question and then you answer it. When we are done with the five questions, mm -hmm. I would ask you who you would want to be on the news talk to answer these same questions. Do you get it? Hmm. So you suggest someone on the news talk. And I'm going to also have a conversation with the person, and then the person will also go through the five questions, and the person will also select somebody. Okay. Yes. So maybe you want to hear the person's answer. So you'll be like, okay, I suggest funny okay. to be on the news talk because you also want to <laughs> find out <laughs> what. So let's go with the first questions. I don't know, producer, how do we call the segment? Maybe we'll find a name for it. Pick and drop. Pick and drop. <laughs> <laughs> So you are starting the pick and drop segment. Okay. How excited are you about mm. it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> pick your first question. What am I picking? <laughs> okay. Okay. Should Do I, I read or should he read? Oh, I picked two. Or you one. picked two. Let me see. It's one. It's, it's one. one. It's Let one. me read for you. <coughs> hmm. Okay. This is easy for you. Mm. What is your proudest achievement outside your career? What is your proudest achievement outside of your career? Getting a degree. In PR. German PR. Yeah. yeah. I remember uh, 2015, that's when mm -hmm. I, I applied to GIJ again. And then 
Yeah. Right after was I lost my dad. Oh. Yeah. And I had no other serious job than to do photography. So mm. I was combining photography and school. Mm. That's from 2015 to 2017. So between that period, to my mom also fell sick. So that period, I thought I wasn't going to make it. You thought it was over yeah, for you. Yeah, it was over. It was so over. But I was able to pull through it. Too. Oh, amen. We serve a living God. <laughs> Your next one. I want a difficult one for you. Should it be? Yes. Okay, okay, I want you to crack your brain before you answer. Okay. Okay, this is describe yourself in one sentence. Another easy one. Describe yourself in one sentence. Oh, in one sentence. Short sentence. Oh, very short. <laughs> Hmm. I'm putting words together. In okay. Word. Uh, can I answer a different one by the time I come? Ah, uh, then. Oh. You can't describe yourself in one sentence. Oh, in one sentence. Ah, uh, come on, let's go. Okay. I'm unique. Eloquent. Loving. And attractive. Oh, but of well. course you are. You are all of these things. <laughs> the next one. How many? Five? Yes, yeah, so three more to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I'm enjoying the segment. Okay, this one says, Mention two things on your bucket list. Another easy one. Mention two things on your bucket list. Do you have a bucket list at all? I do. Okay. Yeah. Mention the crazy ones. You don't mention the easy, easy going ones. <laughs> but the first thing on the bucket list is to do a skydive. Oh, me too. Yeah. That thing is scary, but I want to experience skydive. it. Yeah. But don't do it in Ghana. No, <laughs> no, never. I want to bet it. But my friend will say, never. 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 I would. <laughs> but then the second one will be. Um, to actually have a Guinness um, record to my name. Hmm. Yeah. It's a thing these days. Yeah. Huh? So what do you think you do? I have not. You take pictures for one month. No. Oh, <laughs> China, China, China. <laughs> but it, should be, it should be something out of my comfort zone. Oh. So that will be challenging. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise I have not done anything. So have you thought of anything? Not yet. It's still in the bag. So it's on your bucket list. Yeah, it's on my so bucket list. So you don't have those threesome and things on your bucket list. Oh, see the things that people have done. <laughs> Forget threesome. Okay, yeah, it's you not take your fourth one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Things that people have done. Hey, bucket so, list. Yeah, horrible uh, things. So. Uh, okay, so this one is. Um, <clears throat> what would you do if your Mm. I can't see that word. Which producer? To producer. Out. Okay. What would you do if probably you own an elephant and you can't sell or give away? Is that it? Okay. What would you do if I own an elephant? If you own an elephant, you can't sell or you can't give away. <laughs> So if you own an elephant, and this elephant, you can't sell it. You can't give it away. So what would you do? Mm. I can't sell it. You can't sell it. From the description of an elephant. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Hey! I hear it has all the kind of meat. Oh, That's a lot of meat. It has oh. every animal's meat in an elephant. Who says that? Mm. Those who have tasted So you can elephant. taste Chicken, you can taste, taste chicken, pork, you can taste everything. everything. Really? Yeah. And you know an elephant, how big is it? It's so big. Too big. Yeah. So and then one year now, you do it. Yeah. Party of the year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your last one. last one. Pick a good one. Oh, we should be great. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you are thinking of who you are inviting. I'm, I'm Don't say for you. I said for you already. I'm not inviting you. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a nice one. No, it should be. Which female celebrity 
would you go on a date with? Hey! You should have said male. <laughs> hey! Oh, would male. You? Male. No, no, be male. Male, 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 like, male please. Male. Male <laughs> celebrity. Ghana or house? Oh, where there is open. Shoot your shot, you might never know. Okay. <laughs> I have a crush. Oh. She does it well. Of course. <laughs> Who is that? Very painful. Adina. Oh, you like Adina? Yes. Yeah, she's so pretty. I, I really wish I would have a date. Mm. What kind of dates would you go on? No, I mean, on? I mean, like, uh, just to know her more, that's all. Nothing more, nothing like Oh, and no, of course. To know how music evolved for her. Mm. So will it be like an activity date or like those kind of five-star dates where you go to five-star hotels and sit in? Or it will be activity dates where you're climbing mountains and you're talking. What kind of dates would you go on? I think activity would yeah, because, I think that's it. Yeah, going to five star dates after that, what happens? What happens? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. activity dates, you get to yeah. know the you person get, more. And you're, you're going up and down mm -hmm. when she falls short. Her stress, yeah. everything yeah. you get to know. So, Adina. So, Adina, please, if you can see this, mm -hmm. he wants to go on a date with you. So, yes. please make it a point to, to, I don't know, should she make herself available or you are available? I don't know. However, but should you meet her, him anywhere? He wants to go on a date. I really you. wish. Have <laughs> I really, really wish. In fact, <laughs> it is part of the items for my bucket list. Oh. But I need it to happen. But what I, about I mean, Adina? I mean, I like her voice. It's so powerful. I like her voice so much so that I think I'll be playing it on my wedding day. I mean. Mm. Well, this was either your photographer, dear. I'm sure you're. Oh, I, 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 I met her. Or I met her. Um, I think last year on Samini's show. Oh, okay. Did you speak with her? No. I didn't. I didn't because I was stage managing. Uh, that's Something your work and business and exactly. that ethic. Sometimes you, you know, rules are meant to be broken. Break it. <laughs> anyway. Who do you want on a news talk next? News talk? Yeah. So you look in the camera and say, okay. Asim Asi, I want you on the news talk. Um, so the next person I'm challenging to be on the news talk is Fiverr Bernard. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we can have him again. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this is a new... Yeah, this is a new season, so we can have him again. I want to be here when he is here. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to just edit that part and send to him. Oh, yeah. Send the it challenge has been thrown to you, Fiber Bernard. I know he's saying something. <laughs> but then, I know, yeah, we are next time. I can't say it on... Okay. On air, but okay. <laughs> challenge thrown yeah. to you, Fiber. So watch out. You're coming on the news talk again. Exactly. <laughs> So, huh, so what advice would you give to um, young ones who want to also take up photography, but probably he or she is studying science in a university or studying something that is not related to photography at all? What advice would you give to them? You can just look at that camera and advise them. Okay. So whatever you're doing in life, no matter where you find yourself, just have it in mind that picking up photography as a hobby or as a business is very possible. I know of um, a medical doctor who happened to be one of my school fathers who is into full-time medicine and then full-time photography. His name is Dexty um, Livingston. And nobody would think that a medical doctor will pick up such um, occupation. Now, no matter what you do, you have to make time to study and then pick up a hobby. I think there's the took it from the point of it being a hobby and then it later developed into business. Now, wherever you are, whether engineering, whether medicine, even the streets, you can pick up photography. You only need to dedicate your time, yourself fast. I mean, photography is very expensive, so you should.
be ready to sacrifice. Yeah. And um, you get there. <laughs> you get there. You no should be what. ready to sacrifice and you will get there. You'll yeah. get there no matter what. Thank you so much, Crazy, for agreeing to be on the news talk with me. I had an interesting conversation with you. I mean, I didn't know you studied journalism in school because I thought it's just photography. I have learned <laughs> a lot of things from you when it comes to photography. I know about aperture now. And then I know that with photography, it's mathematics. Oh, yeah, a lot yes, of mathematics. I didn't know yeah, that. A lot of mathematics. So I've learned a lot and I'm grateful. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you to you two for staying with us and listening on to our conversation. This has been the Muse Talk, powered by the Muse Hub and sponsored by Lineal Thrift. Their numbers will be on the screen. You can call them or just link up with them on social media. It's Lenore underscore thrift. And they will hook you up with all your official clothes, your blazers, your palazzo pants, everything you want to look dope in that office. They are your people. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and do not forget to subscribe. My name is Gadade Akusibifia. Next week, I'll have another person in the seat and we can have fun. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>